Hello there, collectives, and welcome back for another general love reading. This reading is going to be a... Uh, I was going to do a no... I'm going to do a no communication, so... We're going to do uh, some of the zodiac signs, uh, no communication. If you are... Uh, if things are not going right in your connection, you took time out. If your person goes to you, if you... Uh, blocking someone, if you ended a relationship and they just abruptly walked away or just abruptly ended it, then this is going to be a no communication reading. So this is going to be on their end pertaining to you. And I'm going to start this one off with, um, let me see, because I've already did a Scorpio on Scorpio's channel. So I'm going to do Aries. Let, let's do Aries. So Aries, tap in Aries. Uh, let's check in on your person, whoever your person may be. If you're not talking to your person here, let's see what's going on in their life pertaining to you and why they're not communicating with you. Now, this is a general area, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So only take the part that fits and discard the rest. If you're new to this channel and this video and energy resonates with you, I ask that you please consider subscribing to this channel, hitting the notification bell to all, and leaving me a high vibrational comment. So the overall energy is the two of swords here. This is someone who is indecisive here. Uh, this person does not see everything. So it's a, I feel like it's, it could be a, a air sign of someone that does not seek a see. Either this person feels like they're going to be done wrong because I feel like this person is used to being stabbed in the back, so to speak. They're used to folks getting to them. Or maybe they feel like Aries, you would do them. Maybe they feel like you would disappoint them and leave, uh, do some wrong to them. But check it out, Aries. They see you in high regard here. They see you as the Empress here. So you could be dealing with the Libra or Taurus here. Someone may be looking at you like um, they may not be talking to you because they may feel like you're out of their league and that you would just hurt them uh, because it's something about your energy and this Empress energy that they cannot figure out. All right, so Spirit, show me Aries person in no communication. What's going on there? The hangman, you could be dealing with the Pisces here. So stagnation delays a change. Someone needs to change a, a perception and it's your person. Your person is thinking wrong and I feel like your person is insecure because, or your person could be, but I feel like your person is seeing you as this high maintenance boss chick here. It could be, you could be a mother of this person. You could have children with this person here too. But something is about to change here. See, someone is either going to get some type of uh, victory or overcome some type of challenge here. But I feel like someone's perception is bad. Now, you could have been dealing with someone and they probably felt like you were out of their league. You could have you could have been the type of energy Aries that's not going to chase someone. And they're looking at you in this Empress energy and they're feeling like you're out of their league and you're going to do something. See, this person risk, uh, feels like that you're going to uh, reject them. That you may have moved on from this person here. See, this person finds you too beautiful and sexy. Here's it. I feel like your beautiful, your beauty, your sex appeal intimidates someone because you're not acting like. I feel like you're not acting like a, a helpless damsel in distress, and I feel like it's uh, triggering someone's insecurities. So this is why they ain't talking here. See, this person feel like you probably got other people. You got competition. This person don't want to have to fight for this because they feel like, first of all, they can't. And so I feel like you must have shut down a player. I feel like you're not the you're not the, the typical person or the typical type that they usually are around, someone who probably chases them. You're sitting here in your power in this empress energy here, and you're not chasing someone. And now they're being triggered because they feel like you're out of their league and that you would do them wrong because they will have to fight for your attention, honey. And I feel like they ass is lazy. Someone is lazy because if you want the Empress, honey, you're going to have to put that work in here. They can't get mad at you because you love yourself and you know your worth. They are, look, instead of you dumbing down, they need to up their game. They need to level up is what it looks like. But with this hangman here... But I don't know here because you got the four, the five of five of ones, the hangman, the four of cups. The crown of the four of cups is a ten of swords. This person feels like this person feels disappointed. This person feels like you're not gonna pick them uh, because maybe someone money ain't right or something. Maybe someone don't have much to offer you 
Or maybe you own your shit, you own your grind, you got a lot of stability in your life, things are really, uh, you know, really panning out for you. You know, maybe you wealthy, maybe you getting that bag, and you maybe you coming off like you don't need nobody, <laughs> and someone can't handle it, so they just fit, rather not talk to you. <laughs> and for some of y'all, y'all don't care. Look, they go your, they go your energy. You and Scorpio Aries, I'm Scorpio Moon, by the way. So this two of swords for Aries person. Why is this two of swords here, spirit? Two of swords. See, because your ass too beautiful for them. They can't handle it. <laughs> this person says you're too freaking mysterious for them. They cannot seem to figure you out. They say you got to have somebody else. It's something you're doing that is really intimidating this person here. So this person feels like you got other... Oh, this person feels like... You may be out entertaining other people here. I thought it was the um, I thought it was the uh, seven of cups, but it's the three of cups. One more card. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. See, you could be. See, I feel like you too feisty for somebody. I just feel like it is. So check it out. The Queen of Wands up against the King of Swords. Your person could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius because you got. You got this uh, empress energy. This is how they see you, but they're also they also find you extremely beautiful, very in tune with your sensual, sexual side here. Uh, you like to go out and have a good time. You you pursue uh, you pursue your passions. Meanwhile, this king of swords is very very detached and reserved. See, this person feels like they couldn't handle you going out. This, you intimidate somebody, Aries. This is why they ain't calling you. They don't know what the hell to say. And even though this King of Swords is being, I feel like they're being honest with themselves in this King of Swords energy. They feel like you're too much for them. And I feel like they want you, but they didn't cancel themselves out before they even gave it a chance. Now, why is this Empress here for Aries person? Ha, look, ha. They got it bad for you, Aries. See, this person does have feelings for you, but you intimidate them, honey. They do want this new beginning. See, they they somebody is fantasizing about you, but they also feel like you have other options or you could have anybody that you wanted. This person probably ain't no flash. See, look, this is what this person want with you. Ooh, snap. I heard that shit. Mm. Ain't that some shit, but they... But, Look at this. Now, they may be looking at you like maybe you went and had a new beginning somewhere else in, in a long-term relationship here. Maybe they feel like the see, they go that five of ones again. This person feel like they're going to have to compete against too much. They may feel like you, you got it going on already. <laughs> oh my God. Whoever your person is, Aries, they, I feel like either they feel like, I feel like this person feels like they're going to have to fight. It's almost like this person is saying, look, you're so you're such high maintenance. You love yourself. You're, you're on top of your shit. Anybody would love to love you and be with you for the long haul. That's what you deserve here to give you the world. But this person feels like they could give it to you too, but they also feel like there's an opportunity that, that they're not good enough for you and that you could someone else can beat them to the punch. Because after all, like I say, you got all this fiery, beautiful a magnetic sensual energy you, you got the fire against some cold ass energy i feel like you're too hot for this person i feel like you're too much for somebody Aries. i feel like that's what it is you may be you may have oversexed them you may have <laughs> oh my goodness Aries. maybe 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 you didn't buck them too hard or some shit you done put all that Aries passion on their ass and now they want it but they are afraid of it I feel like maybe you came on too strong or too, in too, too independent for someone. And that's probably just natural because that's the energy you're in. And someone can't handle it and they're intimidated. Now you got the, uh, you got the Ten of Swords here. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Aries person. Why is the Ten of Swords here, Spirit? Ten of Swords. See, look. <laughs> This was it because this person, they're attracted to you, but I feel like this is someone who does take action. Now, this person may feel like you don't win and found someone more on your level here. See, <laughs> they feel like they can't hang with you. So you had to go get somebody else. See, and it's about to dry their asses crazy. Just thinking that somebody else is with you. See, they feel like you're doing them wrong because for some, look. 
for some of y'all Aries, it could even be for one Aries. I feel like you're too freaky for somebody. I feel like you're too, I ain't going to even say freaky. I just feel like you're in tune with your sexuality and you're open and honest with it. You're free in who you are and how you express yourself. Now, don't get me wrong. Somebody likes it, but it scares them because I don't feel like they can handle you. They can't match you. So now this person here is, is, is not talking to you because they feel like it, you could even deal with somebody who did not satisfy you sexually in bed in this King of Swords energy because they're too busy focused on you probably giving it to somebody else. And they feel like you're doing the ultimate betrayal. So this is why this person ain't talking to you. This person think that you over there, they said that they cold ass love and couldn't do it. You had to go get Mr. Right. <laughs> you had to go get some more fire. And, and this person's going insane thinking this. This is their perception. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Ooh, could be a Capricorn. Look, I told you. <laughs> I told you that's what it is. They say you too much. I know somebody else got to be hitting it. I actually, they like, man, don't you know that that, that fine ass Aries that I, I was telling you about, I met up there at the casino. I met up there at the spot, man. Man, she's so freaking beautiful. Man, she got her own business. Man, she's successful. She got a good job. She got a good career. She got a head on the shoulder. But man, it's, it's more than that, man. Have you ever seen a fine-ass sister that got their shit together and they fine? Man, this one's so freaking fine and passionate. She freaking. She be talking that shit. She got me interested. But man, she damn near done turned me out. But man, I don't think I can hang. I don't think I can hang with that. I, I want it, but... I don't think I can hang this person think that you the one got another lover because they're not pleasing you sexually in bed and it's about to dry their ass insane Aries. Ooh. Now you got the hangman. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Ooh, I heard that shit. Go on, Aries. Put that thing on them. <laughs> well, I'm saying that because I'm Aries Moon. You feel me? Look, eight of cups, see? I feel like this person has walked away. I feel like this person walked away, but I feel like you're not chasing them. <laughs> See, you're going to leave their ass on down the cold. See, this is why it's messing them up. I feel like the, the difference between y'all energy, you're not messed up, Aries. And they feel like since you're not chasing them, Knight of Pentacles here. This person here is slowly going to come back around to you. They are after they get out of their ego because little do you know, they in love with you. They just feel inadequate. I think you didn't put, you didn't look, this person must be in love with you. Ain't that some shit? They in love with you, honey. Oh, clarify this five of ones, but they think that it's competition to get you though. Cause they say they wasn't hitting it right. And they know you, they say, they say the way you like to get down air is the way you be busting them and shit. They know they didn't hit it right. So quite naturally, they know you're going to get somebody else. They say, cause she too freaking, man. I, I know, she, I mean, I know she freaking. Now don't get me wrong. She a good girl and everything. But man, when it come to that, she don't play. <laughs> Clarify this five of wands for Aries person. Two of wands here. See there? I think that was in the reverse. So this is someone needing to make a decision. This is them feeling like you don't know what you want in a relationship. Look, eight of ones, I tell you, they're going to come back to you. They go, they're coming back. They, they ain't talking now because they in they, they in their ego and they in their pride. Their pride has been bruised. <laughs> It's the battle of the testosterone for Aries here. But they going to break down because I told you it's a change of perception. I told you they was going to come after they get at their ego in this night of pinnacle. But they want to spoil you. See, they want a relationship with you with that ace of cups and that ten of pinnacles. They want it all with you. But they, they feel intimidated like they can't please you sexually, I feel like. Ooh, clarify this five of ones. You hear him so the video won't be too long. Page of ones. See, this person... This person feels like they're not hitting it right. See? This person want to do over, but this person feels like they feel inadequate. You see the page of wands coming to you again? The page? This person feels like they're on a kitty level with you. Maybe this person is not an experienced lover, but or maybe you didn't put something on their mind that they ain't never seen before, but it sure got their nose wide open. Clarify this four, four of cups for Aries person. 
Four of Cups, Seven of Swords. They say you around here sneaking and thing. They knew it. <laughs> they said they knew that you wasn't. They say you. <laughs> they said they knew you was faking it, Aries. They say you were faking it. They say you were faking your orgasm here. They knew you was not. They knew that they did not hit that thing right. And they said that they look. Page of Wands up against against. Gets this high maintenance Empress Queen of Wands energy here. They said they knew they wasn't hitting it right. And they said, <laughs> that's all they think about is you in the arms of another lover. Somebody is going against the, the Page of Wands to the King of Wands energy here. This is how they feel. They feel like it's the ultimate letdown here because you chose another lover. So now this person here is feeling like you wasn't being honest with them about you know, but about how they satisfied you. So this person feels like you're sneaking around with another lover. You're going around giving offers to somebody else or you didn't accept an offer from someone else. Ooh. One more card for this four of cups. See, someone feels like you're not happy. See, they feel like you'd have moved on from them. They feel like you, you'd have moved forward here. Or this person is making up their mind that they want to move forward with you. I feel like, I, look, it's almost like this person is, is talking about all of the shit you did to them and all of their insecurities, yet they still want you. <laughs> because look, truth be told, you got their nose wide open. One more card for this four of cups. Could be dealing with the cancer. See? This person is in love with you, Aries. There's no doubt about it. This person feels like you're their person here. And I feel like this person is more into you than you are with them. And that's the part about it that's sad. Because this person, see, this person is in love with you. They feel like you're their twin flame. They do. And they feel like it just bothers them. See, look at that. This is your soulmate. It bothers them to think that they're not pleasing you sexually and that you would actually go give it, get it to somebody else because they want to be your only lover. But I feel like they ain't hitting it right. I just, based on these cards, I just feel like they ain't hitting it right. All right. That's what they, that's why they ain't called you. But pretty soon they will. All right, Aries, this has been your no communications reading of your person. So if this video resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, Aries. Thank you so much for your support. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye, Aries.